Hello guys and welcome to another video with Cass on the Mezuma channel. So in today's video I'm very proud to finally present you this very special project which is the automated system for minecart routing uh, or ASMR for short which is an amazing name that a community uh, in particular on Twitter helped me come up with. Uh, and yeah, this is a system that does exactly what the name says. Your job is to tell the system where to go. This is a very simple station in here. This is one option that you can have. Well, basically, everything's pretty clean. There is a minecart waiting for you. Uh, if you are arriving, this cactus will break the minecart and store a bunch of minecarts in here. So yeah, you can have a pretty big storage in there. Uh, and uh, then you can select your destination here. Like, let's see, we have five next and six next. So let's select just something close enough. We could select as well, like you see number nine back there and number two back there. The distance don't, don't mean anything to this system because I kind of try to think of different cases. Like you can see everything in here, which means that all of those stations are loaded. Uh, but if you look back there, there is a limitation. Chunks further away cannot be loaded. Those chunks are unloaded. We cannot see beyond that point. But even so, the system is capable of taking you to that point. It doesn't matter. It has a way of doing this. And uh, we'll explain more about it in the next videos. This video is just an introduction. I will show you guys the redstone. And uh, yeah, you guys all, all also know what it can do. In the second video, there is going to be a tutorial because it's going to be an objective and you guys can just build it uh, with the components that I will present in this video. And finally, the video that I'm mostly looking forward to record, uh, which is the explanation, which is when I will finally get to tell you guys how everything works around around here in, uh, in with details and i will try to make it as entertaining as possible expanding the system is extremely simple and configuring the intersections which are the smart part of the system is also extremely simple guys uh, i made all of this because i want this to be built in survival to be buildable in survival so yeah <laughs> let's take a look at the redstone maybe Ta -da! this is it guys this is how everything works around here. Those are the components I will show you guys uh, shortly. Uh, and uh, yeah, here is the, this is station number one, two, three, four, five. So this is station number five. This is where everything started. So this is uh, one possibility for your station. So you just have to select your destination here, as I showed you before. And then the signal strength value for station number nine is going to be stored here. So this is number nine. Once you press this button, uh, the minecart is going to send the information through this redstone line and it's going to be stored in this area in here. And this is the intersection. So the intersection, uh, it has uh, this part here responsible for uh, actually switching between the different rails in there. And if you don't select anything, it's basically going to keep running around. <laughs> uh, and here is where it stores the information. So uh, it's currently saying that it wants to go to station number one. So uh, when I press the button, the minecart goes, but another minecart is immediately placed here. See? So another person can use the same system. Uh, and if you want to go to the same destination, you don't have to do anything. You have, just have to, place, uh, to, to press the button and uh, you're going to go somewhere. So, uh, yeah, I actually need a minecart for the demonstration here. So. It sends the information through here. Our destination is once again station number nine. So this intersection now is aware of where we want to go. See station number nine in here, and it knows how to turn. So see, this is going to turn here. So whatever point I go, it's going to do what it needs in order to take me to station number nine, which is apparently in that direction. And once I go, uh, I also will. Uh, basically right on top of this guy and this guy is going to trigger the system again so that uh, the information stored in this node will be propagated to uh, through this network here and those components in here are uh, two-way repeaters so basically uh, they send signals in both ways so I can power those from this side I can also power those from this other side and then information gets to the next node and then when I arrive here 
the intersection already knows what to do in order to send me away to another place. So this is how this entire thing works. Uh, and finally here, uh, where you see the we, we are going through to unload the chunks. We need to load the chunks. You can already see back there. See now those chunks are, are loaded. But before they are loaded, we have this uh, little device in here, and this is what's going to store the information. So if the player if the player comes this way, where the chunks are still loaded, information is going to be stored here, and when, and as the player passes through this, then the information is going to be propagated. Uh, to the now loaded chunks and then we have access to this area in here so this means that uh, there's no distance that this network is uh, unable to cover stations don't need to receive any information so we just need repeaters we connect we literally connect it through repeaters to uh, to the main line and then information gets transmitted so for instance in here when we get to this intersection uh, information is not transmitted further away. So see that, that in, uh, this is station number three because we have three blocks back there. Information never gets to there because the repeaters are in this direction. We don't need two-way repeaters in here because all we have in this direction is uh, a station. But the question remains, how does uh, the intersections know uh, where to go? Uh, well, uh, as you can see, with every intersection we have uh, either uh, north or south, or east or west so we have four options and you know what else has four options repeaters <laughs> so this is uh, the brain uh, of your intersection every slice you see here uh, is a lookup is a, like an item or a cell on a lookup table that the, the intersection uh, queries in order to know where to go so if we're talking about station number what number two this is going to be station number one and this is going to be station number two so station number two is supposed to uh, we are supposed to go to direction number four see <laughs> so we have four direction and four directions and we have four values for repeaters and through those repeaters you can basically configure your intersections we have a total of nine uh, um, stations built in here and I use it only for intersections to do that so basically being smart about building the intersections which are the most complex part of the build uh, is going to save you a lot of time and we could build uh, station number 10 connected to this intersection if we want it because see this one is only connecting uh, three sides and all we need to do to have a, a three-way instead of a four-way is basically not build one of the sides finally to make this entire network uh, work <laughs> all you need are four different components the first and uh, kind of simple component is a station a station can have as many stations as you want you can even have a station uh, go to a single place like if you have a central station because this would be useful in an architecture like this because the system can only have up to 15 different stations this is what the, the, the transmission and forwarding and things can do for the system. But you can, if you, if you distribute your stations within districts, you can have a central station uh, where from there you can go to 15 uh, different places. Like, let me try to build something here. So if this is your central station, you can have a giant district here with 15 stations in here. 15 more here, 15 more here, so a total of 60 uh, different stations. And all this guy needs to do is to like send the code and also the direction to the, dist to the district. So bas basically you can improve the system by doing something like this. This is a way to extend how many stations you can get from this system. And this is the main component of the intersections. As you can see here, it's not too complicated considering everything it does. Like it's seamless from the outside and it has a detector here from when you from when you move away from the intersection it has a lookup table this is the lookup table with a single value in here as you expand you just need to copy this circuit oh sorry my mouse is acting up you just have to copy this thing many times as to as many as to as many stations as you have and the intersection will always know what you do and here's the memory system for the intersection that's basically it so yeah though this is the intersection uh, and here is the buffer thing so 
uh, when you when you go, when you go too far like that case back there information gets stored in this buffer here and this circuit is basically the same as this it's kind of this entire section here actually we don't need this one <laughs> so yeah you're going to be familiar with this we just stored the information in here we don't have to turn any rails or anything and when the player uh, rides on top of these like so then the information is forward forward to the through the through these <laughs> actually uh, I almost neglected mentioning again uh, the two-way repeaters so yeah power from the side brown power from the other side and those are the four components that you need to put together to <laughs> to lego your own automated system for minecart routing <laughs> all right guys i hope you guys uh, get the time to check out the other videos next one is going to be the tutorial um and uh, I'll, I'll, i need to get some feedback from you guys so i can help you better with the tutorial and the, the the other video the third one is going to be the explanation video uh, that i'm looking very much forward to make for you guys okay uh thank you very much for watching i'm very tired guys sorry for my voice uh if you enjoyed it leave a like it was a lot of work but uh it <laughs> i just love the system guys i'm just so so in love with minecart systems and uh yeah i guess that's it for this video guys this this was my special video thank you very much for watching and see you next time goodbye